Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Dylan. We are back here with another Madden video. Today, what I got for y'all is updating my best left end tier list in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Now, before we do go on ahead and update this tier list, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I upload daily Madden content on the channel. And we're on the road to 10K subscribers. Each and every single subscriber counts, so I greatly appreciate that. Now, one more thing, we gotta bring back the comment of the day. Today's words gonna be my guy, Daniil Thomas, right here. Hopefully, I'm saying that right, but he said, needed the tier list but helped him out more than he thought it would hey man i greatly appreciate that if you want to go ahead and have a chance to win comment of the day make sure to leave a comment down below let's get it started so i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all i don't think anyone needs to move up or down i am completely fine with what we have right here so today in total we got uh 10 new left ends to rank now this is before wildcard wednesday so we might have some more at the end of the video that i'm not showing right now all right we got a bunch of draft cards first one up right here gonna be jonathan cooper i'm gonna be honest with you i think he is pretty solid so powered up 90 speed on him pretty good for a defense alignment 92 excel as well agility and change direction in my opinion really don't matter a ton for defensive linemen specifically 90 strength on them has really good run defense as well 94 block shed 94 impact block and powered up the thing he loses me on is lower finesse moves really if he had higher finesse moves he could honestly be up in a or maybe even s maybe i don't know but that finesse moves is just a little bit too low the power moves is really nice though 94 powered up he's 6 3 256 as well trait wise has the bull rush pass rush trait on yes and the swim move trait on yes again uh the more pass rush traits on yes the better now for me jonathan cooper i'm gonna go ahead and probably lob him up into this b tier i think he's pretty solid i, I could maybe see an argument for a because he kind of only has one weakness in the sense that he uh, only has lower finesse moves but a lot of these guys in a are closer to like s than i think they are to jonathan cooper but he's actually pretty solid especially given his price he's a nice little option and right up to him we got sam hubbard right here so he's gonna have 91 speed powered up this time really really nice great excel as well 96 even has good agility which honestly isn't that common for left ends and defensive line in general right he's 6'5 265 again pretty good size on him slightly lower strength i do like to see it above 90 he has 97 finesse moves great 85 power moves again kind of where he loses me uh run defensive wise has 92 block shed and 96 impact blocking and then trait wise he has the bull rush trait on yes and the swim move trait on yes pretty pretty similar to uh jonathan cooper i'm not gonna lie he's pretty similar like he isn't that much better than jonathan cooper but i am gonna go ahead and have him slightly more in the a tier i do think he is better than jonathan cooper not by a lot but him hitting that like a uh, tier of like 80 power moves compared to uh i believe uh cooper hitting like 75 finesse moves that's really the major difference for me so i think sam hubbard more in that a tier now we got angelo bloxon right here uh he's not really too great so 81 speed power up is pretty nice uh because he you would play him at defensive tackle if you do want to use him 318 pounds he's more of a defensive tackle uh decent excel 89 powered up uh, not really great strength only 88 pass rush wise really isn't good terrible finesse moves and only like okay to slightly good power moves 84 powered up run defensive wise doesn't hit 90 block shed but does hit 90 impact blocking so he's not really like great at all he's not really good at all um trait wise has every single pass rush trait on yes which is actually really really nice but i think he is probably d tier d or c at the best i'm gonna go ahead and put him d i just really don't think he's that great honestly you could say he's f and i wouldn't say you're wrong but yeah he's like d tier i don't really think he's good at all and we got a card i was completely surprised that this card is good man larry zonka at left end a dolphin's team team got a little blessed i'm not gonna lie to you so he doesn't have a power up but 94 speed is fantastic 97 excel fantastic decent agility i feel like the agility should be a little bit higher i mean he is a fullback so pro that's probably why but he has great change of direction for defensive lineman how much does that matter i don't really think a lot he's 6'3 237 so it's not like he's undersized either either has great strength 95 uh great finesse moves and good power moves 90 i'm looking for 90s for both right um 97 finesse move is also like really really good definitely top end right run defensive wise has 98 block shed 97 impact blocking again damn near perfect so trait wise though 
Look at all the traits on Yes. Has every single trait you would want on Yes. He is absolutely fantastic. Larry Zonka at left end going up in this S tier, man. And I think he is really, really good. Really, really, really good. Now we're getting into the rookies. First up right here, we got Jermaine Johnson. Somehow the Jets were able to get him at 26. I don't know how, but hey, man. Uh, 94 speed again. They cannot be powered up. 93 Excel. Very, very nice. I would like to see him hit 90 strength, like I said about a previous card. Uh, pass rush wise, finesse moves, 96 power moves 88 if he hit 90 power moves it would be locked into the s tier locked in run defense wise has 95 block shed 90 impact blocking which again is really really good 65 262 pass rush wise has the spin and the swim move on yes the bull rush on no again the more pass rush traits the better right i think jermaine johnson is good i just don't think he's s tier i'm gonna put him top end of a like he is probably the best card in a but him not hitting 90 power moves is really what keeps me from putting him s and that's really just what i'm looking for man like he could play absolutely amazing for you and he probably will man he is a really good card but him just not hitting that 90 power moves man he got to be a for me then after that we got george carloff gets right here 83 speed on him decent right it's okay not really like top end right has 91 excel which is pretty good agility change direction again not really too worried about 96 strength really really good uh finesse moves 85 power moves 96 the power moves are really good finesse moves not really too great and then run defensive wise has 95 block shed 93 impact blocking so pretty good there there uh trait wise only has the bull rush trait on yes so with Carloskis, right i think he is a tier below uh jermaine johnson so i'm gonna go ahead and put him in the b tier so the reason why he's not a for me okay and him and jonathan cooper are on the same tier jonathan cooper is a little bit faster he's up to like 90 speed carloskis is more similar to hubbard than he is cooper pass rush wise but again hubbard has like way more speed than him right so i just think given his speed and everything that's why i have him b instead of a i still think he's pretty solid though listen this card has no business being this good for this price man cam thomas is amazing man if you need a slight budget option or whatever or and you don't even have to be on a budget this card is just absolutely amazing first off he's 65 270 95 speed on him 93 excel 92 agility has 90 strength has 94 finesse moves and 94 power moves run defensive wise is where you could say oh he's not really that great i he's 95 speed and has basically perfect pass rushing and every single pass rush trait on yes like come on come on you like I don't care that he doesn't hit 90 block shit or impact blocking for this card because he is an absolute freaking animal. He is for sure going up in this S tier, and I think he's one of the better cards in the S tier. The reason why he's not like in the God tier, right? One is run defense. Two, Reggie White and Patrick Kearney, man, the discounted abilities are just so, 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 so valuable. It's going to be hard for anyone to join them up in that god tier then right after that we got demarvin liao right here i remember uh like a year before the draft he was supposed to be like a top three pick but this card is actually really really good uh going for 55k again another nice budget option so 85 speed on him he's 6'4, 290 so he's someone you could play a defensive tackle for sure uh decent excel 89 good strength 96 has 92 finesse moves 95 power moves and run defense wise has 90 block shed 94 impact blocking trait wise has the bull rush trade on yes and the swim move trait on yes so i think the marvin liao i think he's actually pretty good i don't think he's s but i do think he's a i think he's i don't want to say he's kind of similar to like jj watt someone who hits all the thresholds i'm looking for just a little bit slower and now we got william golston right here uh he's he's again pretty solid 6'6 281 again someone you could play a defensive tackle if you wanted to 93 speed powered up is fantastic 95 excel really really good 96 strength great the one thing on this card 85 uh finesse moves powered up man we would love to see that be in the 90s but he does have 98 power moves which is basically perfect right like 98 99 you're barely gonna notice a difference and then run defense wise 93 block shed 97 impact block and powered up again all fantastic trait wise he doesn't have great traits he only has the bull rush trait on yes but i think this card is again really really good i'm gonna go ahead put him up in this a tier he's pretty solid all the way around pretty good and then for the last card of the video uh unless there's some wild card wednesday cards that i'm gonna add right after this but bruce smith 96 speed powered up bruce smith 96 speed hello 
Great Excel agility change, like absolutely perfect. 97 strength, great. 98 finesse moves, 99 power moves, again, powered up, right? Run defensive wise, 99 block shed, 99 impact blocking. Trait wise, everything you would want on yes. Every single thing you'd want on yes. Like this card has to, like, if someone's gonna join them and not have discount abilities, it's gotta be Bruce Smith up in this god tier, man. He is perfect. Like literally zero complaints. It's 99 everything, 99 everything that matters. Great speed as well. He is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, y'all, this has been my updated best left end tier list in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with. Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should go down? If you did say the end though, you enjoy content like this, make sure you go ahead hit that like button and subscribe. Also feel free, check the links in the description. We stream over on Twitch a lot and we have a very active Discord community. So make sure you go ahead and join up on that. I do appreciate y'all clicking onto the video though. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Other than that though, man, has been your boy Dill and I'm out. Peace y'all.